Hey, I'm Stacy. I want to tell you a story how I became a mom to my little sister when I was 18. I didn't have a very happy childhood. I never knew my father, and my mother was a conductor on a sleeper train, so we rarely spent time together. My grandma was raising me, but she was too old, and sometimes she couldn't even play with me. Grandma didn't like my mother's job. Besides, she didn't like that my mom was searching for a husband on the weekend instead of spending time with her daughter. I loved my mother, but for me, she was something like Santa. Seems like she exists, but it's impossible to catch her. I can't say I suffered a lot because of my parents' absence. When my grandma wasn't arguing with my mom, she was very nice. My friends helped me not to be lonely. Moreover, I got a favorite hobby from my grandma. I really loved knitting. When me and my granny were free from housework, we were knitting socks, booties, and all kinds of scarves. Then grandma sold them at the market, and we earned a living. We didn't have much money, as you can guess. Of course, my mom added some, but our main income came from knitting. We didn't have time to get bored. When school started, I had less free time. Besides everyday housework and knitting, there was also schoolwork. So Granny taught me to be responsible and follow a daily routine. I don't know if it's true, but adults thought I was a perfect kid. When I was 14, my mother suddenly came home screaming with an envelope. She said the baby's father had left her, and she couldn't cope with this burden. The tiny kid, it was a girl, became our responsibility. Of course, no one asked us. We just had to deal with it. My grandma and I sighed, bit the bullet, and started to raise my sister. My mother ceased to appear in my life at all. A small kid is a real nightmare. Granny and I stayed up all night. We bought tons of formula and always carried her as she was constantly crying. Then there were doctor appointments, teething, and other joys of having a baby at home. And on top of that, I was only 14, and my granny was well into her 80s. We were far from being good nannies. At that time, I was mostly afraid that my granny would not survive the stress and die. It was my biggest nightmare, being left alone with a baby. Honestly, sometimes I thought it would be better for me to just stay in a boarding school. At least you can eat and sleep normally there. Then the girl grew up, and it became much easier. She was very funny, active, and smart, so messing with her was a real pleasure. I taught her to read, write, draw, and all the stuff a small kid needs. Then I found some part-time job and started buying toys, clothes, and sweets for my sister with my pocket money. All in all, we went on with our daily life. My little sister shared all her problems with me, and I was really happy. We had our own wonderful world where there was no place for anyone else. Still, there was also our grandma, but when I was 17, she was too weak and couldn't help us anymore. I had to get on on my own. I went to work instead of continuing my studies after graduation. I was lucky. A small company offered me a job as a personal assistant, even though I had no experience or higher education. Of course, the salary was small, but we had enough. My sister went to kindergarten, and my grandma lied in bed most of the time, but she held on. Things were perfect, but our fairy tale came to an end when I was 18. My grandma died in her sleep. She passed away quickly, with no pain. We buried her, and now there was just the two of us. Yeah, things became harder without grandma, but we held on until my mother came back. She arrived a month after grandma's funeral, and she demanded we get out of her apartment. Luckily, I was at work, and my sister was in kindergarten. I was afraid my mother would have scared the kid. Later, I just showed her the document stating that I was grandma's only beneficiary. Besides, my grandma re-registered the apartment to me when I was very small. Mom had to go away. Then she decided to try another way. She went up to my sister and told her that I was a bad daughter, not letting mommy in. But the kid said that I was her real mom. I cannot describe my feelings at that moment. It was pride and love and a whole range of just indescribable emotions. Yes, I'm just 18. I have a whole life ahead of me. But my whole life is my little sister. And I would face all obstacles standing in our way. Like this video if you have brothers and sisters. Remember, your relatives are the closest people to you however they may act. Love them, care for them, and they will pay you back.